For now, I have launched one EC2 instance. It is here. We have launched it. Let's connect this instance with the help of session manager or EC2 instance connect. Once we have a control plane, we need to set up control plane. Whatever we do with the control plane, same thing we will be doing with the node one. Until this step, until here, you should do same thing for content, uh, instance one and instance two and instance three and so on. So that is the reason, rather I provision two instances, I'm only provisioning one. I'll show you step by step. Now, we are going to set up Kubernetes control plane. We are setting a temporary host name. Once the temporary host name is done, you can do the update temporary host name permanently. Once it is done, do the package manager update. Once the package manager is updated, you need to install prerequisite softwares. Prerequisite softwares. Then it's a time to turn off the swap memory. Before you turn off the swap memory, first check the swap memory is available or not. There is no swap memory on this operating system. You can check in this way. You can check by going to the FS tab. There is no swap memory here. If you want to turn off the swap memory, if in case it is available, then you have to swap off. In case in this configuration file, if you see swap memory, then you need to update that with the help of a command called SCD command. If it is there, you are going to comment it. Next, load the following kernel modules on the nodes. With the help of T command, you are creating a file. Not only that, you are updating the file with the help of two records. Means this file doesn't exist now. This particular file doesn't exist now. Before I modify, I'm just checking this file doesn't exist. Now, what you are going to do is you can use a VI command to open this file and insert mode. Add this records, two records. You can do like this, or else simply execute this command. Come out of this file. Anyway, not I'm not created a file, you can see. File is not created. I'm pairing this command. After this, check the file is available or not. File is available. So with the help of T command, what we have done is we have created a file. Not only that, we have inserted two elements. And these two elements are related to kernel modules. Once this file is created, and updated about kernel modules, you need to synchronize the changes with the help of mod pro. And these are network, network, uh, overlay network and bridge network, which are related to container D. We are going to install container D. For that, we are setting up the networks.